your country, the old Republic of Surinawa? Yes. What happened there? I mean, I have read a little of the history and... I play a somewhat inglorious role. Well, yes. Yes, I know. History is always written by the victors. That is the heart of the imperialist ideology. And how does your version read? Surinawa was always a very proud country. British colonial rule almost ruined it. The British plundered our minds, subjugated our people. They could hardly expect that there would be no revolt. When we became independent, the natural resources became ours once more. Precious metals, uranium, and ores gave us back our prosperity, and our republic became a rising African state. But then the colonial rulers returned, only this time in the form of mining corporations. This could have been the second expropriation, and I was not going to allow it. We defended our land with an iron fist against not only the invaders, but also against the many traitors and collaborators within our midst. You had them killed? We did what was necessary. We had the choice to either fight or suffer servitude for a second time. You say that what you did was necessary. Do you also think that it was right? What's necessary is also right. And what's right becomes necessary. Perhaps. Principles, my little Tracy, are important. Things that are necessary and right must also be done with severity and anger. And if it has to be so, with hate also, unrelenting and without pity, with resolve and burning with hatred, that's how we have to fight in the service of truth and justice. That sounds quite terrible. The truth can be brutal and also painful. You can't always have it both ways, as many Europeans love to think. Sometimes the only option is to have one or the other, to decide for one thing and let the other thing go. You're not saying anything anymore, Tracy. I'm scaring you, and I don't want to do that. I don't know what to say. Because it sounds so awful? No, not because of that, but because you sound like you could be right. All of us have to decide. You, me, all of us. Life doesn't wait for us. It comes at us, and we have to decide. Can I ask you something else? But of course. Why did you invite me here? There are two answers. I don't like eating alone. That's one. I enjoy company. It's nice to have someone around. So you're always alone then? You don't have a wife or any children? I'm a warrior, Tracy. But that doesn't mean... Yes, it does. I once had a wife. Yes, and a daughter. Where are they both now? My wife left me after the government takeover. She found my methods unacceptable. She was weak. The fact that she went wasn't a loss to me. It was the right thing. And your daughter? I don't know where she's living. She turned against me many years ago now. I don't have a daughter anymore. You understand? Yes. I understand that completely. It's not such a rare thing. I have a business partner. He has an armaments business. The situation is just the same with his daughter. She's become a criminal and hates him with a passion. He's an arms manufacturer? Perhaps that's why. Yes, that's quite possible. What do you say to him? I tell him to forget her. Yes. Maybe that's the only option. I have to think about all this. I'm tired. Would you like to remain my guest for this evening? I don't know if that really... Would be right. But yes, don't think about it. You can sleep in my daughter's room. I thought she'd left you. Yes, but I've always kept a room for her. In case she... Wants to come back? Hmm. 
So, that's enough of the sad stories. I still wanted to show you something. Are you still keen? That depends on what it is. My collection? Oh, yes. I want to see that, most definitely. I thought so. Then come along. Come. Flemish old masters. Flemish old masters. Now then, what do you think? Or better still, what do you feel when you look at these works? What do I feel? They give me the creeps. Really? Then you have an astonishing feel for the soul of these pictures. These pictures, though they're so different, they have three things in common. Can you guess what they are? The artists are dead? Correct. That's one. But more important is, their owners are dead too. And third, the most important thing, each of the owners was one of my enemies. What do you say to that? Isn't that one unique collection? Strongly autobiographically assembled, handpicked according to my own quite personal standards of justice. Those are your standards? You collect pictures that have belonged to your enemies? I collect pictures from dead enemies. A small part of the souls of these people hangs here in my house in front of the hellfire of a volcano. That's horrible. Harsh words. Honest words. My daughter would say the very same thing. She wouldn't want her father to have so much hate inside of him. How did these people die? I know this much. They all became ill very quickly and died in agony. And you're happy about that? I've told you what I think about my enemies. You are happy. Have you... I mean... Were you the... Did you... I think you've seen enough. And you're tired. It's bedtime. I'm going to retire. We can talk more in the morning. Provided... You still wish to stay here. I don't know. I won't be able to shut my eyes. Oh yes, you will. Don't be afraid. Think about what I have told you. Really think about it. And think of your own enemies. Then you'll understand me. You'll find my daughter's room by the entrance. I'll wish you a good night. Good night. Damn. Damn. Where are they both? If these are the originals here, they'll be worth a fortune. Wow. You can see right into the inside of the volcano through the glass wall. So, we weren't the only ones who were Lengi commissioned to carry out thefts. I wouldn't like to know what happened to our predecessors. So, we weren't the only ones who were Lengi commissioned to carry out thefts. I wouldn't like to know what happened to our predecessors. Damn, it's locked. He had a remote for the doors. Maybe it opens with that.
That's the transmitter that he opened the gate with. Okay. Let's just see what the thing can do. Let's see where it works. Oh, right then. God, what are all these here? It looks hellish grim. Uh, somebody there! Uh, help! Help! Get, get us out of here! Quick! Quickly! Get us out! A solid metal door. Heck, how do you get the damn thing open? I can hear something. They're in there. Robert? Robert! Are you in there? Catherine? Yes, it's me. Catherine! You're heaven sent! How did you get here? Mrs. Hope, this is Jack Stern from the International Police. Open the door. Mr. Stern? What? I'll explain it to you once you've opened this damn door. Robert, are you both well? I've been better. Open this damn door, will you? Okay, okay. Calm yourselves down. I don't know quite how the door opens, but I'm getting there. Hmm, I can imagine what that control panel's for. There you go. Last. Okay, where is that son of a bitch? He's sleeping. Good. Then I'm going to get him now. You'd better not do that. You're unarmed and he's dangerous. Dangerous? The guy's completely nuts. Have you seen his gallery? Yes, I have. It's gruesome. Gruesome barely describes it. Did he tell you what happened to the owners? Yes, of course. They're all dead. He had them all killed. He poisoned them. And can you guess what he used? The copies that our friend McBride had painted for you. He placed little balls of water-soluble plastic on the pictures, always just before the pictures were sent back to their owners. And inside these balls was polonium-185, an extremely unstable radioactive isotope. After 48 hours, the humidity released the isotope. It decays within minutes without leaving a trace and is absolutely deadly. That can't be true. Sorry, Catherine. It is true. They broke into my studio. They prepared the pictures just before they were going to be shipped. The idea is not a bad one. Using this method, he could reach really well-protected people. And what's more, still have the original painting as a trophy. I was right, Catherine. I told you so. Where do you know all this from? He told me himself. He wants to have me killed tomorrow. <laughs> 